Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I hope you're having a good day. If this is your first time to my channel, they call me Flex and I do Mercedes how-to videos. If you look at all my videos, I've done a lot to my Mercedes C250 Coupe that you can also do as well. So if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit subscribe because I'm gonna promise you, you'll enjoy all the content that you see and also what you will see. In today's video, we're gonna do a performance upgrade. So if you follow me already, you know I've done an air intake, I've done a custom exhaust, and I've done a tune to my car. The next thing I'm gonna do has to do with your throttle. So basically your gas pedal. If you own a C250, even a C300, you know that when you hit the gas pedal, there is a lag before your car moves. What I'm gonna to install today is called a throttle control module. It will shorten that time so that way when you hit the gas pedal, you'll get power. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So here it is guys, this is the pedal commander. This is a throttle controller system. They actually are rated, I wanna say number one in throttle control systems and they make it for many applications but I got one specifically for Mercedes. So this is the control module. As you can see, it has eco mode, city mode, sport mode, and sport plus. And you can also uh, control the intensity of the actual throttle response and this just plugs into your gas pedal um, it also comes with this little clip that this clips into and then this is double-sided tape with velcro that goes on the back and some rubbing alcohol uh, they also give you this cool little emblem sticker and also a lanyard so overall, this I think cost me somewhere around $250 to $300 USD. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in buying this setup. So let's go get this installed. Okay, here we are at the car. First thing you want to do is make sure your ignition is off. And then you want to go to the bottom of your car. There's a brake pedal, there's a gas pedal, and there's two plastic bolts that you're going to remove. I'm going to use a socket wrench. Once you remove that, then you'll have access to the cables to plug in the power commander. Okay, now that the bolts are removed, you can pull your gas pedal right off. And now you will have access to this little connector. To remove this connector, all you have to do is pull up on this little gray piece and the connector slides right off. Now you want to grab your power commander cable. There's one male in and there's one female in. So the female in is going to connect here and then the male in is going to connect back to your gas pedal. So that's it for the wiring. Now you could reinstall the gas pedal. Make sure you move the cables off to the side so that way it doesn't get in the way. And I'm going to replace those two plastic bolts. Now with everything installed, I'm going to start the car. This is the module. You hit the star and you can switch to city, sport, Sport Plus, I'm gonna leave on Sport Plus and I'm gonna crank up the intensity because I wanna know how big of a difference from stock it is. So let's go driving. Okay guys, so I'm just trying to get out of parking lot and just touching the gas pedal. My car is already lunging forward and it like cuts off power as soon as I get off the gas. So let me get on to the main road. Here we go. Throttle response is a lot quicker. Wow. So it's, I'm at like 4,000 RPM and I'm stepping it and it's pushing me back. Okay, this is interesting. So it definitely keeps you at the higher RPMs at the high RPMs, if you push your gas pedal, it's going to pull you. 
pretty cool okay so i'm behind a bunch of cars right now just in traffic driving and this sport plus is not for regular driving conditions because if you're trying to maintain your speed and your if you're pressing and coming off your gas pedal the car is kind of like jerky because it's lane power and cutting it off lane power and cutting off so now i have a open spot wow this is pretty nice i think i feel more in this than my jb2 no joke but it could be the combination of both that's really giving me a good driving experience right now wow i love this for spirited driving, this is fun, but I don't think I'd leave it on Sport Plus for everyday driving. It's too jerky for me. Okay, I'm gonna change it to Sport and increase the intensity on Sport. So I'm a notch below Sport Plus. Let's see how it goes. Man, a lot of people are breaking their necks trying to look at my wrap on my car. Sweet. Okay, on Sport, it's a lot more calm than Sport Plus, but it's definitely better than stock. So it pulls, and when I get off the gas, it gets off slowly. It doesn't cut it off quickly. So it's a little more comfortable. It really holds the RPM and just pushes you forward. I think with the JB Tune, it you get more power after 2,500 RPMs, Whereas this, it just, you get you get immediate power right when you step on the gas. There's still a slight lag, but not as bad as before. So you get the power early, and then when you're in the high RPMs, every time you step on it, it's gonna move. It just moves. For the price, I, I'm, I'm really satisfied with this product right now. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely had fun making it and enjoying the new performance upgrades to my car. I highly recommend this modification if it's the only one that you do to your Mercedes. If you like the video, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.